Today I'm going to show you how to make these delicious milk baklava. Um, it's so good and I also made a little bit of like a ganache filling. So we're going to start off by melting our butter. Um, I used 200 grams of butter. Uh, a ghee would be even better, but I didn't have that. And then I unfolded my phyllo dough. I just bought phyllo dough for this recipe. It's, you know, way easier. <laughs> but of course you can make your own. And um, you wanna cut it to the shape of the pan you're using. I'm using a round one. And I'm doing like a full circle and also a half circle. But don't throw away the rest. You can just sort of use it. Then you want to start by smearing the melted butter onto the pan, just so it doesn't stick. And then you want to start layering your filo dough. up these like little bits and pieces and just placing them in between and then of course you always want to butter uh, the layers after a few layers put a new one and so on until you've used about half of the filo dough and then I would pack on a full circle uh, just because it makes like a, a nicer end uh, when you like cut, cut the baklava it's nicer if you uh, put like one whole circle on top as you can see you're just gonna have a little nicer result at the end And then you can start adding your walnut mixture on top of that. Now I used walnuts, but you can literally use any nuts you want. Use 200 grams. Yeah, and I just pressed them all in. And then I made kind of like a good ash. It's just um, a little bit of chocolate, sugar, milk, butter, and sugar. And the exact recipe is down below. And then I put another fillet on top and just pressed it onto the ganache so like it distributes evenly across the whole baklava. And then you want to repeat the whole same thing, butter, fillet, butter, fillet. And then till the end, then you want to butter the whole thing use the, all the rest of the butter and then you can use a knife to put in the edges as you can see you can like push them back into the baklava And then you want to cut it into shape. I just really did a simple diamond shape, as you can see here. And then you want to put this in the oven for about 150 degrees Celsius for uh, 40 minutes. Then you make the syrup. It's made out of water, milk, and sugar. You want to bring this to a quick boil and just let it boil for one minute. And then take it off the heat. And then when your baklava is finished, it should be nice and golden brown. You can add your uh, milk water mixture and just pour it on top. Now I didn't like, I didn't make a lot of the syrup because I already had sugar in the ganache, so it's not the sweetest baklava. But you can double the syrup and just leave out the ganache, and yeah, then it will like compensate for the sugar.
And then on top I added just some normal cacao powder. Uh, you can also just grate some chocolate, that would also be good. And of course for decor I added some uh, pistachios. This is the end result. It tastes so good. My husband said it kind of tastes like a chocolate croissant, but just way better. Um, yeah, you just need to try it for yourself. It tastes amazing.